Welcome to Electron Online. Here I wanted to show you an example where there is no maximum or minimum value. We simply have a plane in space. The equation describing the plane is x plus 1 half y plus z equals 1. If you find the points where it crosses the z-axis, the x-axis and the y-axis, it is 1, 1, and 2. Or I should say x-axis and y-axis there. And then if we write the function in terms of z is a function of x and y, then we solve this equation for z, and it looks like this. So what we're going to do now is take the partial derivative of the function with respect to x and the partial derivative of the function with respect to y, set those equal to 0, and see what we get. The partial of z with respect to x is equal to, in this case, that would be a minus 1. The partial of z with respect to y is equal to a minus 1 half. Now we're going to set the partial of z with respect to x equal to 0, which is equal to negative 1. Of course, here we realize that 0 can never be equal to negative 1, which means there is no such point where we can set the partial z with respect to x equal to 0. If we do the same for the other partial derivative, the partial, so we're going to set the partial of z with respect to y equal to 0, and then we set it equal to what it is equal to, minus 1 half. Again, we realize here that 0 cannot equal 1, negative 1 half. In other words, there's no place where we can say there's a maximum or a minimum value because there's no value for x or no value for y where, z can ever equal, where 0 can ever equal negative 1 or where 0 can ever equal negative 1 half. So for a plane in space like that, there's no maximum or minimum value as can be seen by using the partial derivative. And that's how it's done.